Really not sure why I forgot to take the thumbnail picture of the lunatic fridge beer that was had yesterday. Huge brain in there. Oh! What? You going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Madden Noisy Lagered Ale by Creamore Springs Brewery Limited. Yes, Creamore Springs, one of those craft breweries that's kind of not really a small independent craft brewery anymore because they are definitely owned by Molson or Labatt's or something along those lines. CreamoreSprings.com will take you to here. And this is, it's just like a secondary, it's like a secondary brewery within the brewery almost. Like there's a couple different mad and noisy beers that Creamore makes and then Creamore makes the Creamore beers. I don't know. Let's crack her open. Not really sure. Lagered ale. Hoping for some deliciousness. Hoping for no mass produced kind of garbage. It looks all right. Doesn't look too bad at all. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. Those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. That's right. Thumbnail being taken now. Don't know why I forgot it yesterday. But not happening today. No, it's not. I'm showing you a little behind the scenes kind of stuff right here. Another, another really nice clear one. Just like the, uh, the mead that was had the other day. Crystal clear, lots of carbonation going up in there. I've smelled that smell before. It doesn't really smell loggery. Doesn't smell bad. I can't really put my put my finger on it. Let's give her a shot. That's a little bit boring. <laughs> There's barely any flavor to that. It's smooth, very drinkable. Can't deny that, but let's do this. Cheers, everybody. What do you say about this stuff? That's what it is. It's got a Kolsch taste to it. Inspired by the Kolsch beers of Cologne, Germany, this straw blonde ale is sub subtly hopped, fermented with ale yeast, and then lagered cold. The results, a light-bodied brew with a delicate fruity aroma of an ale and the crisp, clean finish of a lager. Maybe the tiniest bit of fruitiness in the aroma, but not a lot. And that's it. That's in French. Brewed by the folks at Creamore Springs. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have a date. Wait, there's something there. C2817. January, February, March would be C. March 28th. If that's an actual brewed on date, then I got to give you a little bit of props for that. Compared to whatever brewery I think you're like, it's Anheuser Busch or Labatt's or one of those, one of the big ones. They're like your lords and master, I think. So good on you, but I don't see ingredients on here. So it could be a little better. No reason to not put ingredients unless you're trying to hide something. That is the way I feel about that. Yeah. Bland as all hell. It's been a while since I've had a beer that's been this kind of meh. I don't want to say it really has a mass produced flavor to it, but just like really a barely produced flavor, I guess you could say. Yeah. 
Drinkable. Boring. Beer. On Beer Advocate, we've got one re no wait. No, one review, but three ratings? That's what it is. What are you saying here? I uh, don't expect to be buying about the case. Sure, I'll be purchasing a few more cans over the course of the coming summer, as this refreshing light brew would be a solid selection for an evening session on the patio. An inoffensive beer, if ever there was one. Yeah. Excuse me. Grainy pale malts, crackery sweetness, and hints of apple skin? Sure. <laughs> if, if you're eating enough apple skin to be able to dis distinguish that particular flavor from other things, then you're an odd individual. I like me some apple skin, but I couldn't like Pick it out of a flavor lineup, probably. It's not bad. It's just... I don't know. Lager? I was hoping for a bit more of those nice, really good, lagery, malty kind of flavors. I don't know. Go to Red Beer. Again, no score. Requires more ratings. We got 2.9, 3.1, and a 3. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Can from the LCBO. I'm tired of the shitty marketing here of Cremor trying to camouflage that this beer is theirs. There's some bad grammar in this particular review. Wow. Maybe they do this because, C-U-Z, this guy should be smacked in his face. Because there's really not much going on here. It's a gentle layer ale, not a lot of character. Heavy mineral water washes through it all. Sure. Finishes lightly corny. Another guy with the musty flavor lingering. There's not, nothing lingers. It's just there and gone. Uh, oh, this one's nice. Clear golden pour with a nice medium white head. Nice cereals, grassy hops, and the traditional Creamore house yeast flavor. Body and carb are spot on, no surprise there. Finish is slightly bitter. This is inoffensive and well made, but also boring. Don't see much of a difference between this and the Creamore Kolsch. Probably the same beer. Is it? Is it not? Are you just being shysty? I know. Companies can do that. Like I've said before, my actual job involves cleaning kitchen exhaust units. Like in restaurants, the big hood fan that's over the appliances, I go in with some crazy degreasers and a pressure washer and I clean that shit. And while I'm doing that, I look around the restaurant and you know, see how clean it is and kind of get my own opinion on things. And I was in a restaurant that will remain unnamed in a town that will remain unnamed. And I noticed their prep list on the wall, their portioning chart, as it were, like how many onion rings go in a bag, cheese sticks, blah, blah, blah. What do you weigh this to? And their hamburgers. It says explicitly on there to weigh them to seven ounces. It's like, fair enough. A little bit later in the evening, I happened to find, notice one of their menus. Randomly looking at that. Under the burger section, all of our burgers are eight ounces. Like, who's going to notice an ounce? But for every eight burgers you make, you're getting a free kind of burger out of it? You get shysty business practices out there. There's nothing more I can say about this beer, really. Like, it's got a bit of a... The bit of the Kolsch kind of flavor... But aside from that, it's it's like drinking beerish water with a bit of carbonation. It's a beer. Untapped gives it a rating of 3.3. Excuse me. 
excuse me. That was like the most flavorless beer burp I've ever had in my life. Oh, untapped reviews. Drinkable, although unremarkable. I'll agree with that one. Oh, the nice cat piss. One star. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and deny that. Challenge that. I have a cat. And I've never felt the need to try the taste of her piss. But the smell alone is, it, 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 yeah, this doesn't smell like cat piss. It smells like beer. Not amazing. It's, it has a beer smell. Cat piss is, it's just, this guy's just being a dick with his review. That's all, that's all that is. Although, like, untapped is ripe for stuff like that. Like, just no, no actual review, just to give it a nice, crisp flavor. I taste a bit of nuttiness. I like it. That guy's uh, tasting things, and I'm going to taste nuttiness. Not even a bit. Crisp, clean, crisp, light. <laughs> Sorry. My, I might pass out or something. But not what It's so boring, I'm going to fall asleep. Decent. Crisp, light, but not watery, decent. Just, like, so many of the untapped reviews are just like, I clicked it and I got... I got a badge on untapped. Yay. Oh, random weird possible hiccups are sitting in. Not a fan of the hiccups. Let's kill the lagered ale. Drink never the last. Creamore Springs. Your mad and noisy lagered ale rating. Like so much run of the mill meh beer. That's like a six. Might have been like a seven if there was ingredients somewhere on this can. But I feel like a year ago, I would have been a big fan. Because my taste buds hadn't quite come around to the 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 to, to to the love of the more complex, awesome beer flavors that are out there. This is just it's really boring beer. And that's my opinion. And that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Because it's me. Put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. A pizza! Tomorrow's beer will definitely be more interesting than this bullshit. It's that chai tea weirdness from Lake of Bays. And I don't like tea, so... That should be fun.